it was it was dangerous work because it uh, and I uh, when I would go in I was on twice twice during the years that I was looking after the bags in the upper print chambers that I passed out when I come I got as far as the door and then passed out and they carried me down to the dry to the our washroom and uh, I come to and and uh, they'd uh, tell me to go and see the doctor. Well, it was a company doctor over at the general office. And I'd say that and my, th my throat is really, really sore. And uh, the doctor would say, well, take one of these pills now and a drink of water and take another pill tonight. And if you're not uh, better tomorrow morning, you'll look maybe worse, and you'll have to come back and see me again. <laughs> and it got so that uh, in the fall of '54, why uh, I started breaking out and and uh, swelling up my face, any exposed flesh, my fingers would be that far apart and touching. They were swollen up so bad. And even my face and my ears and uh, my children, when I'd sit down at the supper table, if they couldn't stand the looks of me, they'd start to cry and leave the room. And I'd stay home probably for two weeks and be back to normal and go back to work and work about two shifts and the same thing would happen. And the doctors couldn't figure out. And at that time, they weren't paying me compensation. So I was losing my wages and everything. But Dr. McCarthy came to Marmara in the fall of 54. And the first time I went to see him I can well remember uh, he was sitting behind his desk and I opened the door and stepped in and he jumped right out of his chair. What in H is wrong with you? I came to you to find out. And this, he said, well, when I told him this has been going on for months, oh, he says, you, you, you draw compensation. I said, Delora don't pay compensation for arsenic. What? He says, they will after tomorrow. And so I got a, what is some back pay from the compensation for the time I had lost. But this went on all the winter of 55 that I uh, was, uh, I'd worked two shifts and be home for two weeks, but I was getting compensation then and it wasn't quite so bad as uh, losing the time completely. But in the middle of May, I went in to see him and I was in pretty rough shape. And he said, when I tell you to go back to work this time, he said, just as soon as you feel this is happening to you, you come in here, don't even punch your card. To just grab your dinner pill and get in the car and come in here. So the first day of June, why I had worked about two hours and I felt it felt like little pins picking your face when I start to feel this effects of the arsenic. And so when I came into his office, he uh, on the first of June, he just picked up the phone, he phoned Kingston Hospital, and he said, uh, I have a man here that uh, I'm sending down. I want to find out how much damage has been done to his system and what's causing him to swell up the way he does and find out if he's going to be a compensation case the rest of his life. Or, so he said to me, can you... Uh, drive to Kingston. I said, oh, yeah, I know, 
Well, he said, they want you in the hospital at three o'clock this afternoon. So I went down and I had friends living and just going into Kingston. So I, got, I left my car there and got them to drive me to the hospital. And I was in the hospital for 10 days. And they said that I was so allergic, had became so allergic to arsenic that my farm, which was only a little over half a mile away from the plant, that I was living too close to the plant that I might have to move. But it uh, it never affected me again. But I never went. They, I couldn't go back to work at Delora, and uh, I was one of the first ones to draw compensation for arsenic from Delora plant. And I, I always thank Dr. McCarthy for setting those things straight.